Well guys, today we're going to review and demo and shoot out two of John Petrucci's signature guitars from Ernie Ball Music Man. In the blue corner, we got the JP-15, and in the red corner, we got the Ernie Ball Music Man Majesty, alright? It's going to get heavy, it's going to get rowdy, and it's all going to start right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So, as you guys know, as my seasoned vest of the Stay Metal Ray Guitar Channel, thank you so much for sticking around with me. You guys know that I'm on a huge Ernie Ball kick right, right now. I've been playing a lot of Dream Theater and playing my JP-15 and my Majesty respectively. So, it's only a matter of time now that I'm gonna, you know, do a little shootout between the both of them. If you're clueless as to what I'm talking about, maybe you're a first time viewer for my channel, you don't know too much about me. Well, first off, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And if you could please hit that subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it, alright? Thank you so much again. For the record, these two guitars, easiest guitars to play. Period. Hands down. No matter what I decide to choose as the ultimate victor of this shootout, you can't go wrong with either, okay? These guitars are smooth, sleek, and efficient. You can fly up and down these necks, alright? And for the record, before I show you the song, I have done several shootouts back and forth. You know, I did the Jim Root, Mick Thompson shootout. I've done a Gibson, Les Paul, Fender Strat shootout. And my findings for a, but like, for a lot of my shootouts, um, all, all things sound the same. Or I've, you know, been able to get them to sound the same by accident, basically. However, with these two guys, it is night and day. You can clearly tell a difference as to which guitar is which and they sound completely different in a mix. That was extremely shocking to me, but it's kind of to be expected. Bolt-on construction, maple board, neck through construction, ebony board, I mean basswood body versus mahogany body, it's kind of... The differences are there and they do shine through in the song. So, for this song, as always, as always, I am in drop B, my favorite tuning of all time. We're going to be running through my axe effects. When we come back, we're going to talk about the positives and negatives of these guitars, what I liked, what I didn't like, and ultimately, if I was to choose between one of the two, which one would I choose, all right? Without further ado, here's the song.
So that is the JP15 and Ernie Ball Music Man Majesty in a shootout. So as you can tell, they sound significantly different, all right? But before, before we debate the sound, let's talk about the specs. Both of these guitars have the Illuminator pickups in them, and the same bridge, and the same piezo system, and the same boost, and the same controls and layout. All the electronics are the same. However, the construction method and the woods are the things that separate these two guitars. JP15, quilt maple top, mahogany body, bolt on, neck, or um, excuse me, bolt on neck, roasted maple fretboard, and maple neck. Neck through design, basswood body, maple shield, ebony board, mahogany neck. So, I mean, everything about the construction method and the woods are extremely different between these two, and they shine through in the song. So we'll talk sound. Which did I think sounded better? I'm gonna give it to the JP15. The JP15 sounded better in my opinion. It was a more rounded, less aggressive, kind of uh, velvety kind of sound. You know, you know how guitar players and their and their like their word descriptions? Like it's so weird, but it's like I think of it as like creamy and velvety, whereas I think of the majesty as aggressive, yes but snappier and um, uh, more attack. And that was, I don't know, it's like the JP15 sound. It's more, more, I don't know, it's just, I like it better. I was just gonna leave it at that. I think the Majesty does have that snappier, aggressier, ag aggressier, aggressive, genty tone, if you will, due to its basswood body. Basswood is known to be used for snappier, gentier styles, aka Misha from Periphery uses basswood. It's lightweight and it's easy to uh, source, so therefore a lot of guitar players turn towards it. I can hear, or I think I can hear, the basswood kind of tonality in the J or the Majesty's mix. I thought the JP15 sounded more well-rounded again and deeper and thicker because it had a mahogany body with a maple top, which is what I've grown accustomed to, aka, you know, my Jim Root, my Les Paul, my Kanana Kian guitar, you know, I grew up with a mahogany body and a maple top playing my Les Paul studio that my father gave me, so like, I've grown accustomed to like that wood, and I don't know if it's just in my head that I'm like making this up, but I just felt like the JP15 was more of my sound. Moving on to playability, the Majesty is much easier to play than the JP15. But it ain't all that good, we'll get to that in a second. If you're a shredder, the Majesty is your go-to. I, I'd like to think I'm like, I'm not a, you know, I'm, I'm not a one-trick pony where I just, you know, I like to shred, that's like my thing. I'd like to think I'm a rhythm player, but I can like hold my own with some solos and some sweet picking here and there, and you know, some shredding. Being a lead player is not my style, however, if it is, the Majesty is your go-to. You can play very fast on the JP15, don't get me wrong, I mean, you can play anything on JP15, but I felt like the Majesty's ergonomic design and its lightweight and like, you know, the contour here, the neck through design and the horn all the way down to the 24th fret and it's just like everything's out of the way, which John Petrucci's going on the record for saying like, this guitar is the easiest guitar to play, everything's out of the way. That holds true for my experience. So we talked about the specs and we talked about the sound, right? So overall, if I had to choose one of the two, which one would I choose? I'm gonna choose the JP15. Now I will admit the Majesty did sound amazing and plays amazing and it's easier to play than the JP15. It really is, honestly, the Majesty is easier to play. However, the JP15 has this thing about it where it feels like I'm playing a guitar. And all right, stick with me here. It feels like I'm playing a guitar, whereas with the Majesty, it feels like I'm playing like a, almost like a, to like a toy, man. Like a, it looks and feels like a, something from out of space. Like I, I said it in my official review, it feels like a spaceship, and it really does, man. Like there's something about like the natural finish, you know, wood finish and a bolt-on with a nice, thick, heavy mahogany body, as opposed to like, you know, like this metallic. It doesn't look and feel like a traditional guitar. And playing rhythm, which is like what I kind of gravitate towards for first, I felt comfortable playing it on the JP15. 
I like, again, I like to think I can, I can hold my own with solos and stuff, but think of it this way. In most music, the rhythm part is like 95% of the song, and then the solo is the remaining five. So, do you really need a guitar that's good solely on solos? Maybe. But for me, I like a guitar, I'm always trying to find that perfect balance where a guitar plays great rhythm and then can also play incredible lead stuff, which is very hard to find. This guitar might be the closest thing to it. If only it was a stop tailpiece and not a floating tremolo, oh my god, this would be it. This would be the perfect, perfect guitar, but, you know, not my signature. That being said, I felt more comfortable playing this guitar because it felt like a real guitar, it felt like a real piece of wood and it's just like, it, it, it's heavier and it feels like, it doesn't feel so sleek and light and like a toy, like this thing doesn't feel like a real guitar even though you can shred on it and play faster and effortlessly, it's really hard to explain. But overall, JP15 wins it for me in this shootout. So now that I've given my opinion about these two guitars, what did you guys think? Did you think the JP15 was a little too muddy and kind of cloudy in the mix and the, the Majesty was better sounding and I even say it plays better? Or do you like the look and the ergonomics of the Majesty or the JP15? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments, all right? So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and watching me and let me geek out on my Ernie Balls. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and hit that dumb notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video that I do. You guys, you seasoned vets, know what I'm going to say. Thank you so much for watching. Stay metal, and I will see you guys next time.